Hey guys, I'm coming back to you with another update for the 93 Buick Regal Derby car. Got a few more things done on this thing and it's uh, two days before the demo, so this is uh, getting real close now and I'm going to be showing you all what I did and what I still have to do, although I'll explain why I still have to do. Um, and you guys will get an update tomorrow, hopefully, if the weather isn't too bad. They're calling from some nasty weather tomorrow. I'm lucky I didn't pick Saturday. I gotta say that. Sorry to all you that did pick Saturday for the demo because uh, it's bad. So you can see right there. If you can see, I don't know why the camera won't focus, but take my word for it. There are pipes now in the bumper. I really don't know why this camera is not focusing. My older camera was better at focusing. Jesus. All right, so there's two pipes. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it now. But there's nice, pretty thick pipes in there. I mean, it's not gonna hold up to a, you know, a really heavy bumper, but they're still gonna help, I hope, quite a bit. But like I said, uh, this isn't really gonna be a competitive car up front. Honestly, I plan to use the back as much as I can. Uh, even though the back ain't great on this car, it's just what I got to use. Um, and, you know, why not? I mean, even if it's crap, you still ought to use it. Unless it's, like, rusted way out, which this one isn't too bad. Um, so, we'll get to using this trunk. There's a reason why I notched and everything the way I did. I mean, that's what I'm doing today. One of the things I'm doing today is pre-bending this car. You can see that giant notch... I believe there's another one sitting up there somewhere. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Right there, right at the bumper almost. Where the bumper used to be. I probably cut it a little bit too close actually. But we'll get pre-bending this up today. Uh, I might do one strand of nine wire to hold down the trunk or I'll even just throw a chain in there for now just for the right up. We will be nine wiring this trunk shut. I do have the option to weld it, but, uh, nah, don't really want to. Here's my driver's door bar, it's all painted now, I mean, it's not great, I didn't really even go through trouble of sanding it or anything, I just literally did that. I think I'm going to put a bolt or two through it just to, for re uh, well, insurance policy, basically, just going to take the plasma cutter and just you know cut right through that maybe even hopefully it blows out the other side and then I, I'll be able to uh, bolt this thing up on there just small bolts we don't want to go anything too big because you know if I get hit I don't want those bolts coming back and then me so just little small uh, bolts like I used to hold on the bumper with um, let's see but they're heavy grade bumpers I mean uh, bolts we got the nine wire I, you have to put this here, so I I put it there. Uh, I've never done nine wire before, guys. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done nine gauge wire, so it's not too bad, but kind of a pain. But yeah, my terrible twists on it, whatever. I don't really care. Is it gonna hold? Yeah, probably not, but you know what? Um, it's good enough. So there's limp mode. Yes, why do I have it unplugged? The reason why is because we ran this thing for like 45 minutes or something like that. 40 minutes, just about. Maybe even more. Um, had this thing running, I wanted to keep an eye on the temperature. We were running water through the rad, which it still needs more water. Um, and it ran really well, uh, actually. It, was, it had a slight misfire, but honestly, for what I want it was doing perfect so it um no it didn't even try to overheat so that's good uh, I never had that this car running for that long and it it did well so that's good news that's I've never had a derby car running that long I really do want I wanted to do an extensive test on it and did that I secured the battery lines not battery lines a gas lines these my allergies are infecting my brain. 
Like I said, guys, they have really bad allergies, as some of you saw in the last video. Always in the morning, always killing me. Anybody can relate to that. Um, this is now grooved slightly. Um, how much it's going to help me, I don't know, but I had a very bad tool. Um, I, the tool I was using was a Lincoln Electric, a little uh, saw thing. I don't even know what you call it, but it it really did not like this job, and it seized up eventually, pretty much. I had to hit it against a wall a few times in order to make it spin again. It would just cease from turning it on. I mean, it was bad, so... Uh, the rest I did was actually with the air saw, just, and actually that worked really well, guys, so if you're ever, uh, if you don't want to have one of those little uh, grinders that goes like this, it's got a little blade on it, like a 90 degree bend in it, and it just essentially just goes back and forth really fast, uh, vibrates really fast, and takes off material, but if you don't have that, just use an air saw and they seem to work pretty well. Just don't cut too deep because I almost cut too deep in it and that would have been bad. But I think that's pretty much everything that's changed from the last video, guys. I mean, not a whole lot has changed. Um, today is a big day for this thing. I mean, I got a lot to do. I got to hook up lip mode back up. I got to change some wiring for the gas. Uh, for the fuel pump I should say probably gonna fill it with gas today I do not know I think I'm going to um, I want to spray foam the inside of these tires I'm allowed to do that and uh, that's what I'm gonna do instead of doubling or anything like that which I really don't have time to do or nor do I have the materials to do so but well, spray foam is pretty easy to get your hands a hold of you just go to your hardware store and get some spray foam so and I'm gonna bring it to a friend of ours and he's gonna pop it on the tire machine and get that situated so that's all good news I'm kinda rambling a little bit but stay tuned more updates coming on this thing I might have a video tomorrow if not I'll have a day a video the day of and we'll get this thing done I mean this thing's already almost completely done only a little bit more work to go um, I don't mind the splotchy paint job. This paint job has not aged well. That's the one bad thing about this paint job is that it hasn't aged well. The best it looked was the bad day I painted it. <laughs> that's really, that's really it. Um, so, whatever, we'll take it. She's an old beat regal. <laughs> what else? I mean, even the paint even shows that it's all beat up regal. So and rusty one. So, all right. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.